had some good time. Just, just great. Get out of my sight, and you tell everybody else to stay the hell out of my sight. Yeah, you're hearing that. And welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. Hey. The short version of the Opie and Anthony Show today. Yeah, it's going to be about three minutes long. A couple phone numbers in the New York area. Why? <laughs> so they can call us tomorrow. All right. 877-692-1027. Anywhere else outside of New York, give us a call. 866-277-4WOW. Got eyes staring at us all over the place, so we better not say the wrong thing, Anthony. Whoa! We're all paranoid that we're live on the radio today. Uh-oh. For about two more minutes. Because God knows what we say is the word of God. Right! Ugh. Oh. Hours. We just spent four hours um, uh, discussing if we should go on the air today. Yeah. Phone calls, uh... Opie on, on his desk phone uh, in one ear, the cell phone on the other, person on the desk phone talking with somebody else on their desk phone uh, on another line, two, two offices down. So we absolutely, you know how we talk about how we don't prep for this show, you know. We at least discuss a couple of things. We weren't even able to do that today. Weren't even able to do that today with all these phone meetings with the intermediaries we were talking uh to the boss mm -hmm. through our agent through our agent who's in la yeah so the agent was on the phone with us yeah. in our office yeah and on the other line he was on the phone with our boss right who's uh oh i don't know 20 feet away 20 feet away how ridiculous is that for and, four straight hours. And we don't see the boss until the the music started for the show. <laughs> and he wants to have more. Telling us that he wants to have more talking and more meetings. More talking and more meetings. Right now. Right this minute. So I guess that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So now we got to uh, like uh, go into a little talk talkie meeting. The face-to-face -face talkie meeting. I didn't realize I had so much power, Anthony. Yes. We could affect everybody else's career around us. I didn't know that. Of course. All I know is when I got into radio, I thought I could, um, uh, I don't know, state my opinions. No. And then, you know, maybe some people would agree with what I have to say, and others, of course, would, would not agree with what I have to say. But at least I could uh, state my, uh, my thoughts and my opinions on a radio show. Just, uh, at least that's what uh, this show's about. But for some reason, I learned uh, very recently... Uh, I don't know. People take what we say very seriously, and we can affect everybody around us. It affects things. Which I think is absolutely insane, but that's what people are around here think. We have all so, so much power that we can affect a domino theory, a domino principle of, of uh, hell that will just tear everything up. And I, our whole careers, have taken pride in the fact that... Uh, we, we would never use any type of power that we we uh, we get in this business to tell uh, management or uh, other uh, radio shows that they can't talk about us. Yeah, we've taken on all all freaking combat. Whatever. It, it's sometimes it's very brutal. Uh, it's brutally honest, and uh, we we never enjoy being in the position where we can't just speak our minds. Uh, only under the constraints of the FCC. You know, we can't be blurting out the F word and stuff like that. And that's fine. We've gotten around that. But this show, and Opie and I, are not used to dealing in a, a form where we cannot speak openly and honestly and let the listeners in on what we're talking about and just plain vent. That's what this show is has always been about. And uh, we want it to continue to be about that. They might as well just hand us a list of all the people we can talk about every yeah. day. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're all on the same page. Right. Because it started with uh, one. Well, it started with one thing we can't talk about. One person. And then the list just, what, it starts building? And then where does it stop? And, and you know. So there's been this whole thing going on today. Phone calls and uh, meetings. And we haven't um, been able to even uh, touch on the show no. at all. 
and Ken is having uh, he, he, he's shaking like he has epilepsy. He's freaking out. Uh, so it's concerned that we have to have a meeting like right now. So they they uh, want us to do a radio show and ignore the fact that there's been uh, some big changes in uh, mm -hmm. Philadelphia radio, Anthony. Right. There you go. Philadelphia radio. Good, bad, or indifferent, there's big things happening in Philly. We it's, can't, up to, it's up to the listeners, we can't, not us. We can't touch on it because for some weird reason, uh, whatever we say will be taken as the word of God and people will uh, will do exactly what we say. Right. That's what I've learned the last two days. we got a lot of power. Uh, apparently. Stupid power in their eyes. Apparently so. So now we're going to go down the hall and uh, talk some more. We'll talk for the first time, I guess. Great. Lots of fun. Wonderful. What a hoot. So, uh, where's Rick? Yeah. Time to play the old beat-up uh, archive bits again. <laughs> Just answering people. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. It's a hell of a way to run a ship. Joyce uh, writes, Opie, you've always been the first to say that you don't trust anybody in the radio business. I'm a little surprised that you got caught up in feeling that you could be friendly with some of these people, these people around you. Yeah, you're right. I've changed my whole uh, way of thinking as far as that goes. I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. I don't trust anyone except Ant. That's it. Mm-hmm. It's back to that, which means it's going to be some good radio in the future. <laughs> I gave it a try the other way. Yeah. That didn't work out, did it? Not really. No. So uh, what do we do? Where's Rick? Go to spots. Go to spots at 308. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Bye-bye. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the 55-gallon drum challenge will happen Friday, I'm, ass I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Yeah. I mean, and you know what? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I kind of answer people on instant feedback. And the, you know what? Uh, Are they going to ban the bell? <laughs> Can it take my bell away because I'm actually answering? <laughs> and the, the bosses assume that it's just easy to walk down the hall and, uh, and do what they uh, tell us to do. Like, uh, you know, we, we really don't want you talking about this. Yeah, and then they get disappointed when we come in here and we react to something. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. That's our jobs. We that's, made a we made a living off reacting and talking about the hot topic of the day. That's so to, what this show has so, always been about. So to go on the air and make believe all this crap isn't going on and move forward is completely ridiculous. We're not supposed to address. The show has always been about that. That's what I, I he doesn't understand. So Ken doesn't get. And it doesn't matter. A million meetings, it's not going to get, uh, uh, we're not going to come away agreeing with each other. How can we walk down the hall and not address the fact that it, it is extremely uncomfortable in this building? Huh? We're not supposed to talk about it? Hmm? Oh, plenty of shows would be able to do that. They come on, you go through your prepared stuff, and, you know, you do your bits and whatnot. But this show isn't about that. It never has been. The success we've had is based on the fact that we talk about things that, that no one's going to be talking about. And, then, and some some things that are, quite frankly, a little uncomfortable. A little uncomfortable for, for everyone, but, us included. But now I'm finding out that uh, that's not good enough because what we say is uh, is pretty powerful, Anthony. Yeah. We can influence uh, all of the, 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 the radio listening in the country by what we have to say. Yeah. That's how powerful you and I have become. Right. We should just get get a list of radio shows we like and don't like, and we'll just tell you guys, and then uh, we'll we'll control the, the the entire country. Wouldn't that be great? We'll pick the shows you guys should listen to. Yeah, we're gonna tell you, cause we're that powerful. That's what we're learning. Cause you guys are a bunch of robots. Rick, you got a list of uh, all the hack bits we're gonna be playing today? <laughs> yeah, this is smart. This makes for good radio. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. Four hours before the show, four straight hours, nothing got accomplished, so now we have to play old, tired bits today. And nothing will get accomplished between now and seven, down the hall. 
That's great, too, yeah. Instead of hanging out in here, having some fun with the listeners, we got to go down and sit in that office. Oh, by the uh, way, every single phone call that got through to us, uh, yeah, we can't talk about that. No, no, and, and we're no, supposed to make no, believe you're not calling no. in about uh, that. No, Bruce, sorry. No, Tom, sorry, sorry. Steve, sorry. Jerry, Pat, Kevin, Dave, Dima, Frank, John. Sorry, can't talk to you. Can't talk about it, and we got to make believe we don't even see you. But we're supposed to do a show. Right. Why doesn't Ken sit in the seat and then and, and find out how how easy it is to do that? Mm hmm Sorry, Chris, Dave, Rachel, Tom, Mike, James. Sorry. Same, same thing. Oh, one guy wants to talk about Sims Golf. That's good. <laughs> All right, well, hope this doesn't take too long. I'm going to go blade in the park because that's what I want to do today. All right, Ant. <clears throat> Great. Let's, uh, let's go have fun with Ken. It's going to be a, a hoot. It's going to yell at us. All right, me and you make a deal. The first raised voice from him, we're we're. Just like, I go home, go go home. I don't want to hear Get. it. I don't want to. I'm a little too mature at this point in my life to be yelled at by a uh, uh, a man. And quite frankly, I think uh, I think we've done a lot for this place in New York. Right. I don't think we deserve to be yelled at. Mm -hmm. if you yell. If you yell. We walk. I think we did a, a, a bang up job there in Philly. Bringing a lot of people on board uh, to the Opie and Anthony show in Philly and uh, Boston. And I truly do not think that I should be sitting there at this point in my life <laughs> being yelled at by another grown man. Ah, ah! If he yells or, uh, or slams his fist on anything. Yeah. Cleveland, Buffalo, yeah. So I think we're, you know, doing our, our part. To the point where I don't have to sit there uh, while somebody tries to make me feel like I'm I'm ten, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll state this for the record: when it comes right down to it, I really don't care what other radio shows you guys listen to. I really don't. Mm -hmm. But I want to be able to give my opinions on on what uh, mm -hmm. Aunt and I do, maybe the business in general, maybe some of some of the the other shows that are out there. Right. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to react and, and speak my mind. But when it comes the right same th freedoms that are given to those very shows, too. By the way. But when I could, when it comes uh, when it comes down to it, I could give a flying f what other shows you guys listen to. Nope. I'm concerned with this program. <laughs> Period. And I want to play by the same rules. Uh huh. I want to be able to mention that. Right. I want to be able to mention that. Why be singled out? Hmm? Driving in today, I heard uh, a, a, a loud to. Why? I don't I know. I just want to play by the same rules. Not but, even bashing. But I guess we're so powerful that we have a whole different set of rules, Anthony. Not even bashing. Just talking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, they dumped so out. So you won't hear that because it, they've been dumped out of. There you go, point made. They dumped out. Yeah. All right, Ant, let's, uh, let's uh, go uh, waste four hours. Let's go have some fun. Down we'll waste uh, four down more hours. It can be great. He yells or screams, <laughs> might as well save yeah. your breath. Shouldn't be any yelling. Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern. Just saying the name. Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard Stern, 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 Howard Stern, Bubba Booey, Howard Stern. Howard Stern, 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 Don and Mike, Don and Mike, Don and Mike, Stern, Don and Mike, Opie and Anthony. Oh, that's us. Opie and Anthony. Howard Stern, Howard Stern, Howard, Howard, Howard Stern, 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 Stern. How's that stacking up? Can he dump out of it? This Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Are we on the air? Howard Stern. I don't know. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. 
Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. I can't say it anymore. It's like a tongue twister. Howard Stern. 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 Howard. 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 Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. That made up for about a week. All right. We'll take a break. Don Imus. Oh. <laughs> no, that's funny. Cain and Cabby. Cain and Cabby. Why bother? The Opie and Anthony Show. It's like listening to Corky and Karen Quinlan. Opie and Anthony. I'd rather hear my penis in a vice than listen to those two. The Opie and Anthony Show. N-E-W. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony Show. Hey. We're we're How back. You we're live again. You people didn't go away, did you? I hope not. I hope not. It's uh, what March fifth, uh, two thousand two. Do you remember when we went on at three today? Remember, and we said we had a meeting to go to. Remember all that. Remember. Do you remember? Hey, remember. So it's Tuesday, Anthony. That was an old bit that we just played. Now we're back live in the studio. Here's the, how fun this whole thing it is. It is now. so uncomfortable around here today. <laughs> Here's how fun it gets. So we 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 go on at three, three after four hours of taking phone calls behind the scenes with our agent playing the middleman between us and uh, Ken Stevens. A lot of people uh, writing on this and feedback that we're acting like ten year olds. We yeah. know that. Yeah, we know that. Oh yeah. But uh, we have to we have to stoop to their level at this point. Exactly. So uh, we uh, spent four hours before the show today discussing if. Uh, if uh, we could come to an agreement about the type of show we we uh, want to do, the type of show we do, we we've uh, I think been very successful of, with the type of show they hired us to do uh, almost four years ago here in New York. Right, right. Without all those pesky restrictions that have been put on it, um, one by one. Right, one by one, over the past um, I don't know year or so. Right, more so than uh, before. So um. We get on the air. We've been t talking on the phone with these inane, stupid battles for four hours. We were talking to our boss, who's uh, 20 feet away from us in another office, through our agent in L.A. Yeah, great. That's how we do things. So <laughs> We really don't do things like that, but... No. All we want to do is do our show the way we've always done it. That's all. That includes talking about everything that goes on here at the station, all the people at the station, everything we feel... Any little stupid thought that pops in our head, we want to be able to convey it to our listeners with the only restrictions being that put on us by the FCC. Right. That's all. Maybe talk about the business a little bit. Maybe, right. Maybe talk about each other in a way that's very uncomfortable for the, done it. the person. It's been fun. Done it. Uh, so now Ken, after this uh, four hours of uh, phone tag back and forth, um, I, I, I do have to say we said it at 3 o'clock. I'm quite flattered that uh, we have so much power. I, I, yes. I didn't know until yesterday that we had this power to influence our, our listeners. We could tell you guys what other radio shows to listen to. Right. And you'll do exactly that. And you'll do it. I had no idea. Yes. I thought I was just stating my opinions about other radio shows in the radio business. But I'm learning that uh, they take our, what we say uh, as the gospel, Anthony. Right. And if we give them a list of shows that they're allowed to listen to and a list of shows that they're not allowed to do, they're going to follow this list. <laughs> according to management yeah that's what they're uh scared of in the end don't you think we're a little more concerned about what this show does what our show does when we're on the air don't you think that's our primary concern we really aren't that concerned with anything else that goes on the fact of the matter is uh we don't give a crap what other radio shows you listen to right but we do give a crap about uh, being able to to speak our minds Exactly. So, uh, we, we, as we left you at uh, 3.03 or 3.04, whatever time it was when we uh, were approached by Ken... 3.09. ...to have a face-to-face -face meeting he finally, during our show... He finally decided to come in and, uh, and face face us. Yeah, instead of being 20 feet down the hall away from us uh, on the phone with our agent... Uh, who's in L.A. Who's in L.A. Now, the uncomfortable moment happened around 3.08... No, uh, just before 3 when Ken came into the studio. I saying, think we have to meet, he says. We have to meet. I'm like, well, your timing's a little bad because it's time to do a radio show now. Yeah. But um, he says we have to meet. Why don't you just 
put on a best of, and uh, we'll have a meeting, and we we got to sort this out. So we're like, what the hell? There's no way we're going to be able to just get on and do our show because we we had, didn't even talk about the show. Four hours on the phone. So we put on a best of that you heard. Hope you enjoyed the Gay Marco segment. That was we cute. thought it was pretty fun. We were listening in our office as we waited for Ken to right. come get us. We go in our office, uh, sit down, assuming Ken's in his office sitting down. How how much more immature and baby like could this debacle get? <laughs> Um, so we sat in our office for 45 minutes, and he sat in his office for 45 minutes. Shh, shh, Ken. No, Ken, Ken, be quiet. Shh, Ken, Ken, shh, it's okay. Yeah, so he sat in uh, his office, and then I guess who saw him? Uh, Rick. Rick saw him and said, well, they're, um... Are you know, looking for the guys? Are you looking for the guys? They're in uh, their office. And, and Ken said to Rick... <laughs> No, are they looking for me? Are they looking for me? So we're faced with the fact that he didn't want to come to us for the meeting, and we weren't going to his office for the meeting. Exactly. So uh, we sat there until, uh, I guess, somebody came in and went, well, they're gone. Ken and Jeremy went to lunch or something. <laughs> and we were like, you know something then? <laughs> Screw it. We're going back on the air to explain this part of the situation. It, this is retarded. Rick, why don't you give him a call on his cell phone and see where he's at? Uh. <laughs> give him a little give him a little ring. Ring him up. Do I have to? See if uh, there's a possibility that we're going to meet today. Do we have to now wait for him to eat sushi? What do I say to him, dude? What? <laughs> Whatever, dude. We put you in this situation from time to time. Dial the phone. Do you... What if he has to talk to you? Then uh, tell him we're on the air. Okay. Doing what he uh, pays us to do. Uh. <laughs> now, Rick, do it in here. Oh, come on! <laughs> do, do it, it in, in here. here. Come on! Dial it on your cell phone and do it in here. <coughs> here, you can use mine. Here you go. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, beep. The hell? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna get to the number. To... I'm a very important person. Look at all those. You have numbers. a lot. Of, those are all numbers. Yeah, and a lot of them are gonna be deleted after this week. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, if you know what I mean. What? It's ringing. Get over there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Rick is uh, now calling up the boss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, Jim from D.C., you got that uh, wrong. Yeah, Oof. hi, Ken. Uh, this is Rick calling from the ONA show. Um, the guys wanted me to give you a call uh, to see if uh, you'll be meeting with them, I guess, today. Okay. Um, Where is he? Um, okay. Um well, I hear him chappering. Um, the the, the, they're on the air right now. <laughs> he just lost his lunch. Yeah, they, they they went back on the air. <laughs> he just broke out in a cold sweat. Um, because <laughs> because look at poor Rick. Right, but they decided to come back on the air. I guess so. Well, we get paid to be on the air. Uh, yeah, it's our job. Yeah, it's our job. <sighs> Hold on. A smug joke. Um, do you want to meet with him or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, where is he? He's downstairs getting some lunch. When would he like to meet? Um, when would he? When would you like to meet? You are the boss. Huh? Right now? Right now. I hear him is yelling. He yelling now. <laughs> yes. Tell him no yelling. All right. Tell him um, no yelling. No yelling. No yelling. He says he'll do it right now. He's just coming back up with a sandwich. No yelling. Tell him no yelling. Tell him no yelling, Rick. Just say you're the messenger. No yelling. They're, they're requesting no yelling. That means them too? Does that mean you guys? Hmm. Oh, I like cursing but no yelling. Cursing but no yelling. Okay. Soft curses are allowed, no yelling. Yeah, no yelling. All right, he said deal. We'll put a DB meter in there. If it goes up too high, meeting over.
And no uh, no pounding of the fist. Like, uh, none of that. And Opie wants no pounding of the fist. And no throwing stuff. Opie wants no pounding of the fist or throwing stuff. And what would you like in this meeting? I'm fine with the low cursing. Uh, I like that. I use F a lot in these meetings. All right, so Opie <laughs> wants the F no word. pounding of the fist and no throwing stuff. And Anthony's fine with just the low cursing but no yelling. Mm. Can you do that? Okay. Yeah, he says he can do that. All right. I'm glad that the listeners found out that we're allowed to yell at our boss. <laughs> <laughs> no yelling. Anything else, dude? I didn't think that covers it. That's pretty right. much it. Ask him uh, when, when, where will be the neutral ground for this meeting. Um, I don't want it to be in his office. Where do they want to meet? They don't want to do it in your office. He want, They want to do uh, neutral ground. Because people can look into his glass uh, office. We want drinks. He says fine with that. <laughs> All right. Just can you bring up some dessert? <laughs> You're not going to make me do it. <laughs> you are terrible. Where is the meeting? Well, I missed it. Where is it? A, a, a neutral location is fine. Well, where is a neutral location? I guess maybe one of the, uh, the conference rooms or something. Too sterile. That's like his turf. Conference room? Uh, conference room? Ask him no. uh, if we could do the meeting at uh, Privileged Gentlemen's Club. <laughs> 23rd and 11th. <laughs> Live on the air. I think we all need a lap dance at this point. Opie wants to know if we can go down to Privilege and do the meeting at Privilege <laughs> Gentlemen's Club. <laughs> well, he's laughing. Well, that's a good sign. That's going to stop real quick. <laughs> hmm. What is he saying? He's not sure of the neutrality of that particular yeah, location. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of our turf. Right. All right, we'll figure it out. But I don't Did want you to want me to ask office. the other question? Because I don't want to ask it. Which what's, one? What, what's the other question? Dessert. Oh. Um, he might spit in it at this point, Opie. I wouldn't take no, any food not, from I, him right tell now. Tell him I don't trust uh, him bringing any food back for he, me. He'll probably spit in it. Opie says not, not to worry about bringing any food back for him. Why? Because he doesn't trust you. Why? Because you might spit in it. <laughs> What does he say to that? Okay. We want the meeting at Farid's office at K-Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him that. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> what did he say to the spitting he thing? Said, he said you know him too well. Oh, see? He would have spit in it. Tell him I, I thought I knew him well. Opie says he thought he knew you well. Hmm. He, uh, that, that drew an O. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> yeah, well, truth hurts. <sighs> so you want to do that o over at for that office? We want we want to play the Oz music in the background during the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> ask, <laughs> ask him if we could tape the meeting and put it on the air. Oh, that's a good one. Can we record the meeting so the guys can play it back on the air? Yes. We can? No, yeah. he's, he's just repeating the question. Oh. Yeah, mm. yeah sure. <clears throat> he said it depends how it goes. All right. So where are we meeting? We'll meet upstairs in uh, the, the conference room. The conference room? Yeah. All right, we need a time, so it's not like one person's there right. waiting for the other. Uh, upstairs conference room. Exactly what time? Is that good with you, Ken? Uh, what time? Um, right now, say about five minutes from now or so? 4.15. 4.15. Synchronize your watches. Do you want to go in the sales side door and they'll come in the other door? <laughs> <laughs> Someone on the phone. A neutral place. How about Switzerland? <laughs> All right. So. Okay. 4.15. And Ken's coming alone, he says. Oh, I tell him we'll uh, we won't bring Jim Norton then. All right, because then it'll seem like we're bringing him Norton. And and tell him if uh, if he, do, he if he chooses to fire Ant and I today, uh, please don't fire Jim Norton because he has a show to sell out here in New York. <laughs> All right, um, Town Hall, April eighteenth. <laughs> they said <laughs> tickets available through Ticketmaster. If you do choose to uh, fire them today. 
please don't fire Jim Norton till he sells out his show. <laughs> at Town Hall. At, at Don't fire Jim Norton till he, he sells out his show at Town Hall. Mm -hmm. April 18th. Right. Tickets available uh, through Ticketmaster. <laughs> and you All can right. go to eatabullet.com. He said that's good. Okay. He likes Norton. All right, I think we're set, Ant. We done? Yeah. Okay. Right? I think 4.15. Ken? Yeah, we got five minutes. So we'll Seven see minutes. you. Uh, well, they'll see you in uh, about six minutes upstairs. All right, remember, sales side door. They're going to come in the other side. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Don't fire me. <laughs> Please. You think if, you're, if we're gone, you're staying? Are you insane? Well, no, you're probably not going, but he might just fire me for making the call, stupid. Yeah, those how, days are how over. How uncomfortable is that? That sucked, dude. <laughs> yeah, that looked pretty bad to be you right, the, right then and there, huh? All right, what uh, tired old bit we're doing next for the fine yeah. listeners all over the country? You want to do a little... Um, I like mm -hmm. the Nixon and Nam. We could do Nixon. How about uh, New Orleans Tom with the bad copy? All right, we'll do that. We got Tom from New Orleans on the way. Yeah. And hopefully we'll be back on the air today. Uh, you, you, you know something? Honestly, you just don't know. We don't I, know? I don't know. Yeah, we shouldn't tease that. I don't know how this... You know why? Because, yeah, that was all funny and stuff, but this goddamn meeting ain't going to be fun. Believe me. All right. Believe me. You deleting that number? <laughs> no, I'm going to make another call. We got four minutes to, to make a call. Who are you calling? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling? Let me see. Wait a minute. I can't see that. Hold on. Don't! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Our voices will be back. It just might be old. Yeah, old you never voices. Know. All right. The Opie and Anthony Show. Make it touch her. <laughs> Coming soon, the return of the 55 gallon drum challenge on The Opie and Anthony Show. And E.W.